Pipeline Builder helps you grow your pipeline of targeted and interested talent in three steps. It all starts with a sponsored update, recruitment ad, or banner on your company page promoting a specific opportunity at your company. When a member clicks on the ad, they are taken to a personalized landing page with information about the opportunity, your company culture, and team. If the member is interested, they click on the I'm interested button and provide their contact information. The member's contact information and LinkedIn profile are then automatically transferred to a campaign folder in LinkedIn Recruiter, where you and your team can follow up with them directly. Let's take a closer look at how you create a Pipeline Builder campaign. First, you'll need to access your company page admin settings, which is where you create and manage Pipeline Builder pages. From your company page, click Manage Page, and then click Pipeline Builder. This page is where you'll come to create a new Pipeline Builder landing page. You can have a certain number of pages live at any one time based on the budget you've purchased. Any page you publish or draft will be displayed here you'll see the name of the recruiter contract linked to your landing pages. If you have more than one recruiter contract, you can change it here. Before you start creating a new page, be sure to gather the information you want to share and size your media to the page specifications. I have that information handy, so I'll go ahead and click Create New Page. First, upload a banner image that represents your company or the open opportunity. Next, write an engaging and action-oriented headline that clearly describes the purpose of your page. Add details about the type of person you are looking for and what the role and your company offers. Think about this section as your elevator pitch about what makes your company unique and why someone would want to join your company. Don't just paste a job description here. We also recommend leveraging the ability to personalize the message by using the first name variable at the top. And use the highlights section to summarize the opportunity with bullet points so that a member can quickly skim the text. Share the name and profile photo of the recruiter or hiring manager who is managing the hiring process. And then add an engaging and high quality image, video, or slideshow to grab the viewer's attention and to give them a peek into your brand and culture. Now identify employees to showcase whose backgrounds are relevant for the target audience by connecting their LinkedIn profiles. Sections with the visible toggle can be turned on or off. Turning off the visibility only hides the content view for the member and can be turned back on at any time. When you're happy with your page, scroll up to the top to preview, save, or if it's ready to go, create page. Everything looks good, so I'll click create page. Enter a descriptive campaign folder name. This folder will be added to your recruiter account and is where you'll find all the leads generated from your pipeline builder page. Then click continue to get confirmation that your pipeline builder page has been created. After you've built your Pipeline Builder page, you'll need to start a recruitment ad or sponsored updates campaign to drive potential candidates to your landing page. If you've only purchased recruitment ads, you'll need to work with your media account manager to set up the campaign. If you have a sponsored updates budget, you can start your campaign right after you create your landing page by clicking Add a Campaign, or you can do it later by going to linkedin.com slash ads and clicking manage ads. Both paths will take you to the campaign manager. Once you're in campaign manager, click your account name and select the account that begins with SU underscore LTS. This page is where you'll access and manage all of your sponsored update campaigns. Click create campaign in the upper right corner to create a new campaign for your Pipeline Builder page. 
and then click Select for Sponsored Content. First, give the campaign a name. I recommend that you use the name of the opportunity or give it the same name as the campaign folder you created for collecting your leads in Recruiter. Now choose a language for your sponsored updates. This should be the same language as the content for your campaign. Next, select Build a Pipeline of Talent using LinkedIn Pipeline Builder. This will activate the free banner that appears on your company page to your target audience. Everything looks good, so I'll click Next to move on. On this page, you'll see the available content that has already been created and shared with your followers. To drive traffic to your Pipeline Builder page, you have to create a new sponsored update. Here are a few best practices to keep in mind for this content. Be creative and visual. Keep your content short to see a higher engagement on posts. Make sure you only link directly to the relevant Pipeline Builder page. And most importantly, have a clear call to action so members know what your request is. I'll click Create Sponsored Content. Next, I'll add some content, a link to our landing page, and an image. If you don't have a link to your landing page handy, you can get it from your page by clicking More, Copy URL. This looks good, so I'll click Save. The content is now added to this list. If I wanted to test different types of media or messaging to drive traffic to my Pipeline Builder page, I could create additional sponsored updates and then select all of them for my campaign. I'm happy with just this one for now, so I'll select it and then click Sponsor Selected Content to continue. Now it's time to select the target audience. The location field is required. You can use these fields to further narrow your audience. Make sure you work with your recruiting team to identify the specific criteria such as region, companies, or job functions you want to target. As you gain experience, you'll get a better sense of what the criteria and numbers should be for your audience to guarantee the lead volume necessary to build your pipeline. I'm happy with this, so I'll move on by clicking Next. The last step is to decide how much you want to spend on your campaign. A best practice is to scroll to the bottom, click Show End Date, Total Budget and Ad Rotation Options, and start by entering your total budget. I'll enter $3,000. As your objective is for someone to click on your sponsored update and access your Pipeline Builder landing page, we recommend selecting to optimize your campaign for website visits, which will default your bid to cost per click. This means that you'll pay every time someone clicks on your sponsored update. The daily budget is the maximum your campaign will spend per day. By adjusting this amount, you can set the minimum number of days your campaign will run. Since my total budget is $3,000, I'll enter 300 here and so my campaign will run for at least 10 days. It will go longer if I don't hit that daily maximum. The bid field automatically populates with a bid amount in the suggested bid range. The bid range is an estimate of the current competing bids targeting the same audience and is intended as guidance to help determine your bid. A best practice is to bid in the mid to upper end of this range to ensure your bid is competitive with what other advertisers are bidding. I'm going to start my campaign immediately, but if I wasn't ready to launch, I could set a start date for the future. I'll leave the end date field empty because I want to run my campaign until my budget runs out. I'm ready to go, so I'll click Launch, and this Pipeline Builder campaign will be live and start collecting leads. After a member responds with interest to an opportunity at your company, they become a warm lead in your recruiting pipeline. Make sure you have a plan in place to follow up with these leads in a timely manner. If you won't be the person following up, 
Identify someone on your team with access to the campaign folder in Recruiter for this role. To access the leads generated from your Pipeline Builder campaign, sign in to LinkedIn Recruiter. Place your cursor over More and click Campaigns. Click the name of your campaign and then Responses to see everyone who has expressed an interest in your opportunity. Review each lead and decide if they are a good fit for the opportunity. You can toggle to the list view to see more information about each lead and use filters to sort and segment potential candidates. Follow your team's best practices for adding a tag, note, or source to track leads generated from your campaign. Any leads that are a good fit for the current opportunity or a future role at your company should be moved to a project in Recruiter and then managed through your typical recruiting process. After you've reviewed all the leads, keep yourself organized by archiving leads so you don't duplicate work in the future. Lastly, a few best practices to remember when managing leads in Recruiter. Respond within one week to everyone who expresses interest, regardless of whether they are a fit for an open position, future position, or you don't anticipate they will be a fit in the future. A quick, polite response to everyone will help you capitalize on the momentum and create a positive experience with your company for each lead. Also remember that many leads who express interest will provide an email address or phone number. If a lead doesn't respond to an in-mail message, you can always follow up using another method of communication provided by the member. And that's it. You're now ready to start using Pipeline Builder to grow a targeted pipeline of interested talent.